Hi, so let's keep going. We're going to talk about the example for the Kruskal Wallace test. I think I'm saying that right. All right, so at a 0.5 significance level, does the monthly ozone density in New York have identical data distributions from May to September of 1973? All right, so again, I'm going to use the air quality data. I made a video before showing how you can use both formats to open the data. I'm going to be lazy and just use mini tab. So I've got it here. I'm going to click on it and it opens it for me. All right. So one of the important things, and you see here, I have my data down here all set up. I have ozone, solar, wind, temperature, month, and day. And remember for this one, I want to look at ozone by month. So, and then the months, they've got like five, six, seven. So five is May, six is June, and so on. Okay, so let's go back to the PowerPoint. All right, so the first thing I need to do with these is I need to check my distributions. So there's several ways I can do this, and I'm going to show you how I, the first way I'm going to do it. All right, so I'm going to go to graph. I'm going to go to box plot, and I'm going to do with groups, and I'm going to hit OK. So I want to look at the ozone, so I'm going to click on it and put ozone, and then I want to look at it by month. And I'm going to put a title in there. I'm going to put ozone by months. All right, let me do this. Distribution whoops, of ozone by month. Okay, I hit OK, and I hit OK. All right, so what does it give me? I can lower this down again. So look at that. It gives me, okay, so here it is. Ozone is on the y-axis. On my x-axis is the months. And if I'm looking at the distributions, these are not normal. Why are they not normal? Okay, remember, this is my median, which right here is 18. Here it's 23. Here it's 60. Here it's 52. And here it's 23. All right. So what does that mean? These, these are not normally distributed. And I can see I have outliers. This one right here in August has a huge, it goes really high. And here in September, it does too. Okay, so let's think of this in terms of everyday life. Ozone can, is produced when you have pollution. And think about the summer months. It's hot. The atmosphere heats up. So your ozone layers could be higher in the summer. And that's what we're seeing here in 1973. So May, it was there was one day it was high. June, there was one day it was high. July and August, it was higher. It was a lot higher. And then for September, it starts to get lower. So we know that we couldn't do an ANOVA in this because the distributions are different. All right, and so what I'm going to do is if I want to, I can copy the graph. Remember, you can copy the graph, and when we do stuff, and I'm going to just put it here, you can put it wherever you need it. All right, I'm just going to throw it there because I need to do it. I'm going to make the PowerPoint with it later, and I'm going to do this. All right, so there's another way you can do this. I love to do this graphically. I think it's cool. You can do histograms. I think box plots are cleaner. So let's do another one. We're going to look at, oh, let's not do graph. Let's do basic statistics, display descriptive statistics. Again, my variables, ozone, and then I'm going to do it by months. All right, and then I'm going to look at my stats. I want to look at my mean, probably my standard deviation, my variance. I'm going to look at my quartiles, and then I want to look at, I think that's good. And I've got my median, my mean, my standard deviation, my quartiles. I'm going to put mode in there, and then I'm going to put OK, and I'm going to see what I get. OK. All right, so here I can see my means are all different. But remember, when we're looking for normal distribution, we want to see if they're similar. So mean to the median for like May, it's very different. And for the mode, the mode's 11. So that's very, very different. Because remember, in a symmetric distribution, your mean, your median, and your mode should be very similar. And if I just keep going through and seeing, like the mean for June was 29.44, the median's 23. So it is different. I mean, July, it's a little bit better. August, it's not. And for September, it's not. So this is another way you can do that. And again, if you want to, you can copy it, copy as a picture, and post it wherever you need it. I'm just going to put it here. Okay. So those are the ways you can do it. 
Now, I didn't do, num excuse me, normality, because remember when you do that, sometimes you can only do it for one, for one variable at a time, and it doesn't split very nice. Again, the best thing to me to look at is this. Because when you go hover over it, you can see the me median and everything, and you can see how they're skewed. So again, for this kind of test, you can either do side-by-side -side box plots, or you can do a comparison of each individual month with descriptive statistics, because you're looking at the mean, the median, and the mode. And again, that mean, median, and mode should basically be the same for it to be normally distributed or have normality.